This is Mike Roth. Welcome to the Open Forum in the Villages podcast. In this show, we're going to talk to leaders in the community, leaders of clubs, and interesting folks who live here in the villages to give perspective of what's happening here in the villages and information that I think all villagers should have. We hope to add a new episode every Friday morning at 9 o'clock. This is Mike Roth. Thanks for listening to Open Forum in the Villages. This week's episode is a little bit late. It's been an extremely busy time. We have, in this episode, about eight or nine minutes worth of recordings from the Villages Newcomer Meeting that happened on the 14th of October. And we're going to talk about some other stuff But before we really get started, we have another joke for Evan. What do you get if you dip a baby cat in chocolate? A Kit Kat bar. I wanted to talk for a few minutes about some of the things that have happened in in the last uh, week or so. On October 15th, I had the all-German, third annual all-German car show at Harbor Hills Country Club. We had 101 cars registered, about 95 cars showed up. We had 11 vendors, and we had a phenomenal weather day. It was an absolutely fantastic show. The Village's all-German band was there, and they played for the full four hours, and we had time to make some announcements and give away some excellent door prizes. We had three classes of four classes, actually, of German cars. We had the Mercedes, Porsche, and BMW classes, and then we had a a fourth class for all other German cars. All other German cars class was won by an unusual gold, I call it a candy apple gold Opel 1976 two-door sports car. Very unusual car. And we're looking forward to a new and improved show for 2023. Stay tuned for more details. The Harbor Hills Country Club at the show had some fantastic food and some real German Oktoberfest beer. Coming up this week on Friday, October 28th, we have a new improv show called Improv 2022. We have new players and some old players, some of our regular players coming back. We will have about 20 scenes in the show over 90 minutes. It's at 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. at Rohan. Tickets are still available online at teeny, U-R-L, T-I-N-Y, U-R-L dot com forward slash Improv 10, 28, 22. Tickets are going to cost you $8, which is a $7 ticket plus a $1 service charge. There will be no tickets available at the door. In about another week, we're going to begin the first of the two podcasting 101 courses at the Enrichment Academy. The first course runs on, starts on November 3rd and the uh, 10th then the 17th at the Lake Miona Recreation Center from 1 in the afternoon to about 2.30. You don't need any computer experience. You don't need to buy a lot of setup equipment. We'll talk about equipment. We're going to talk about the purpose. We'll talk about how to gear up to do a podcasting show in the first class. In the second class, we're going to talk about a podcasting exercise that we're going to ask everyone to do, which is uh, something that everyone should know, my life story. And the uh, second and third episodes, we're going to talk about editing techniques, using audacity to get the podcast to sound as good as possible. In this podcast, 
later on, I'm going to play some excerpts that I recorded live at the Newcomer Expo on the 14th. And you're going to hear poor quality. That's, that's because we're in an open room, a lot of people talking. Some people talking close enough to the mic to hear them. Some people standing back too far. Um, the, some of the conversations are quite interesting. I actually recorded about uh, three hours worth of material, and I think I cut it down to eight or nine minutes. It's worth listening to. Something else that I'm working on here in the villages is a new software system for clubs. We call it the club management system. The club management system is divided into three parts. The first part is a contact management system that runs on a Windows PC. So you can keep track of the names and addresses, phone numbers, cell numbers, email addresses of everyone in your club. You can keep track of their dues payments. And the second component of the club management system is a payment system using Stripe to collect credit card and billing to do the billing, to create invoices. And then the third part of the system includes a direct access to a constant contact type of a email blasting system called Mailgun, which provides everything that constant contact does, but at a much lower cost. Club management system isn't exactly cheap, but it does everything that a club here in the villages might want to do. We even included a web site system, which can interface with the CRM component so that people who wanted to just view the website, look at the calendar, that is also available. When we were designing the system, we, th we were thinking about membership retention and engagement. If you're having trouble with your club and you want to engage the members, increase the size of the club, operate more efficiently, and stop pulling out your hair when you have to send out an email to all of your members, we do have a solution. And if you're interested, you can send me an email at mike at rothvoice.com. One of the reasons that I've been a little bit late in getting this week's episode out is because I've been traveling. I went up to New Hampshire to attend my granddaughter Monica's wedding to Jacob Levi. And it was a great, great experience. The whole, most of the family got together and uh, weather was perfect. And we all had a good time. Unfortunately, it kept me out of the villages for five or six days. Now I'd like to play a, an excerpt of the three hours that we spent at the Newcomer Expo. First person that you're going to hear from is Pam Henry, who is a director at the Villages Recreation Department. How you doing, Pam? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome to the uh, Open Forum and the Villages podcast. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> You're not going to say a word. Not going to say a word. Well, you can say hello at least. I can say hello I'm from the Recreation and Parks Department. You know what? what? There is so much going on. If you're bored, that's your problem. Gee, how many clubs are you up to now? Oh, I don't even count anymore. It's over 3,000. I thought it was over 3,300. Yeah, pretty close to that. Yeah? And that's adding good. every day, every time every we open day. a facility. That's get good. Get them going. That's good. We're here for you residents. Great. Thanks a lot, Pam. Have a great day, Mike. You too.
Did that that's say Minnesota? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought it said New Hampshire. We oh, that's Hampshire. where you're from, New Hampshire? We, we were there last week. Oh, isn't it gorgeous there? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah nice we, trees. We used to go there every summer to York Beach, Maine. Okay. Maine, Maine, but yeah. we, here, my aunts lived in Maine. New Hampshire. Ah, yeah. let's see. Where where, where where did you grow up? Uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And, and how long have you lived down here in the villages? One week. One week. Yeah. Well, the one thing you have to do is learn how to do a podcast. Okay, give her a, a podcasting for beginners course. Okay, give her one. What's a what's a what is it? It's a podcasting course. Okay, we. Can You know, they're great. They're great for driving. They're great for uh, while you're exercising. House cleaning. She does it all the time. Right. It's it's it's, it's it's simpler than listening to an audible book because an audible yeah. book might average ten hours, right. and you know our podcast averages uh, twenty minutes. Right. And. Uh, Like YouTube and watch. Yeah, his name is Wang. He does these the craziest stories he tells. I mean, some of them are perverted, some of them are just crazy. He's yeah. got over a million subscribers. Because the show. I don't tell you. Yeah, on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah. So this isn't YouTube. No, okay. I know. I know. Podcasting. The podcasting is audio only. Right. Okay. And. It's a, it's a lot easier than the uh, the podcasting world. And you do you sell, you do a podcast yeah, yourself? Yeah. Well, you can't find it, but he's got plaques, you know, a silver plaque, a gold plaque. Yeah, there are, there are a lot of. Do you make money like the podcast make money like uh, some of them do. Yeah, yeah, you can get advertisers, you can have subscriptions. Uh, I don't suggest that you th look at it when you start out as no. a business. But, you know, it, it, it's fun, and you, and you can tell the stories that you want to tell. Right. You can tell your family stories, you know. Do you have any kids? No. no. Is that all? We're Is recording that... now. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's that's a live stereo microphone. Okay. What part of New York are you from, Richard? Queens. Mass Queens. Queens. Okay, yeah. You know of course, I grew up in the East Flatbush, Canasi. You know, 30 toit and toit. I worked in uh, the end of the L line. I was a track worker for the okay. subway, so I. Uh, you tightened the bolts, huh? Yeah, I did a uh, slab, did a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I was the last step there at Rockaway Parkway. That's where okay. we recorded over there. There's a yard. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend here in the village who was a subway motorman. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, it's, the question is, do you have any any story that you want to tell about yourself or your life to your grandchildren or great grandchildren? Oh, yeah, it's, and I admire people that do that. I like listening to other people's stories for sure. But. When you're starting from ground zero, you're not going to be a, a pro. Yeah. But what we're going to do is get people up up and running. Okay. You know, with the right equipment, doing it the right way. <laughs> Take a flyer then. Not that I, not that I can. The statutes of limitation have not run out yet. I, see, I, I can't say that either. If, if you need my picture, you got to go down to the post office. How's that? See, you, you. You were old enough to remember that. I, I, I say that to young people and they, they look at me like, uh, what, 
Facebook? What the heck? What's that? Not, not a Facebook. Not, not, no. I, I can barely use the phone. Or the, the computer. I can barely use the phone thing on the computer in my pocket. I was a uh, fireman in a school. That's a boiler operator. Yeah. Yeah. Fi firemen start fires. Firefighters extinguish them. So it's six after eleven, and now there are one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight prospective enrichment academy people in the room. Seven years, you're an old time. Remember, our next episode will air live next Friday at 9 a.m., or should I say pre-recorded, but that's when it will be released on our regular subscriptions. Bonus subscribers can get early access to episodes. Should you want to become a sponsor of the show, contact me at Mike Roth at rothvoice.com. If you know someone that you think should be on the show, send me an email at mike at rothvoice.com. I want to thank everyone for listening to the show. The content of the show is copyright by Roth Voice 2022, all rights reserved.